Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor. I want to do a quick video today just to show you what a rigger is. Now you may have seen these brushes and you may have wondered, is that something I need? What do those do? Now they go by a couple names, rigger or script liner brushes. In reality, riggers and script liner brushes were two different kind of brushes, but now the, the names just all kind of meld together. The distinguishing feature of a rigger is this long body. And that's designed to hold a lot of pigment and water and give you a very even line width over a long distance. Nothing more than that. They, it's not that they produce a finer point or that they will do details any better. It just gives you a more consistent line over a longer distance. You can see they come in different widths. Decorative painters like this because, well, let me just start demonstrating. Basically, you can see it's a very uniform width. And I can just seemingly go on with this line for a long, long time. Just holds a super amount of pigment. This is a bit of a larger rigger. This is probably more in the script liner category. You could do script lettering. The name rigger um, originally applied more to one of these really tiny thin brushes. Oops. It got that name because it was designed to detail the rigging in ship paintings. Because you could do a nice even steady line with one stroke. Now if you're using a rigger you need to load it up all the way to the, the ferrule or all the way to the body. From one end to the other. That loads it from tip to ferrule with pigment. Another thing that this long uh, round group of hairs does is it, shock, it, it sort of acts as a shock absorber so if you have shake in your hand it's not as noticeable as this is with a short pointed. So you get a little bit steadier. But now by no means is the use just for doing ship's rigging. Landscape painters have really come to prize this brush because you can hold it out here on the end like this. And if, as you're painting tree branches, the, the really fine ones, you can get a really expressive line. It just gives you some nice little thick thins and the crooks and crannies. I mean, and you can just, you can make little bru little branches for days, it seems like. And the further out on the end that you hold the brush, the looser your painting will be. But, just some really nice little expressive lines you can get. Now, if you grew up in the States, I'm sure you know who Bob Ross is, the oil painter. He used liner, where it works great with oil paint when you thin it down too. He used these liners almost exclusively for his tidy branches. But I mean, you know, if, you, if you're doing some country landscapes and you'll put in some, some telephone lines or Fences off in the distance. Do it all at once and you get a nice, fairly even tone. Where it really excels, a lot of times for doing the line, I'll hold it like this, just almost straight up, and rest the heel here. Where it really excels are in these long, consistent width lines. So don't get confused about the name. 
Um, all three of these are called riggers, um, although one of these is labeled a script brush. Or No, actually both of these are labeled script brush. This is labeled a rigger. They're all the same. They all are designed to do the same thing. Uh, nowadays, you have a lot of hybrids. Um, now, this is a standard round. But here is what I would call a hybrid. This is called a pointed round. It's longer than a standard round, but it's fatter than a rigger. So, it's like if there's any variation on a brush that can be made, the brush makers will try to make it. You know, and you'll see them and you'll say, Do I need one of those? You know, one of my reasons for showing you some of this stuff, if you've seen my video, here's a link to my video on choosing brushes. You won't see any of these in there. You'll see rounds and flats because that's the essential brush that you need. And a lot of this you can do with a round. Maybe not as ex as consistently or with as much expression in the tiny details of the branches. But it's a nuance. When you see brushes like this and you say, that would be perfect for something I need, great. But I also hope you'll look at these and say, oh, so that's what that does. Now I know I don't need it. You know, and informed decisions are good decisions. That's what the rigor is. I hope you'll check it out if you have a need for it. If not, just wave as you go by. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. YouTube now has a thing you may have seen on some channels called the support box. I have one too. I'm trying it out. My content will always be free and I hope you will always tune in. But if you have a mind to support this channel and help me make more videos monetarily, just go to my main channel page and look on the right. For the support this channel box but officially i think youtubers are calling it the tip jar whether you just watch or whether you want to monetarily contribute either way you're supporting me and i appreciate it thanks guys we'll see you next time